Are you stuck at home during this pandemic and just don't know what to do uh, because you can't go to the gym? And because you can't go to the gym, you can't work out. So you get online, go to Amazon, order a bunch of bands. I like the NT bands, there's others as well. Or some other kind of band. You get this band. Or this band here. Or maybe you use tubular bands, but you don't know how to use them. Uh, you do about five, ten exercises, and you are stuck with them. Today we're going to use some loop bands like this, and uh, I'm going to show you how to do some upper body exercises. Uh, today we're primarily focusing on the back, arm, shoulder, and abdomen. In previous videos, we have worked with the uh, chest, and we've done a full leg workout. Now I'll check some of those out uh, with me. Uh, on some of our previous ones. Whoops, get that up there. Get this down. Uh, you're going to be looking at uh, this funny looking guy here. Uh, let's see, where is he at, David? Uh, we're going to look at this guy. This is from a previous video. Oh, who is that? Oh, that's me. <laughs> anyway, we're going to look at him a little bit and see what he's going to be doing with you and showing you how to use bands. Three different kinds of bands, uh, just to show you a few you maybe you like tubular bands tubular bands look like this the nice thing about them they have handles um, uh, those those are uh, fantastic I don't use them very much uh, and there's there's reasons why I don't there's times I do they're easier in your hands there are ways you can get around those we're in fact in another video I'll be explaining the different types of bands that are available one of my favorite bands, by the way, is something you can buy in a whole row like this, and I'll show you later. This is a pretty heavy one. It's amazing what you can do with this thing. The nice thing about it, you can stick it in your uh, suitcase and take it wherever you're going. And it's not going to show up in no metal on it, so it's not going to show up when you uh, pass through the airport. These, you should see a lot of these that wrap around your ankle. You'd be amazed what you can do with these as well. But, what are we using today? We are going to be using loop bands. There they go there. They come in. Just go to Amazon, buy some. This is a heavy one. These are great for the legs. I use them for bitch press. Uh, a little lighter. This, this particular band, uh, great for uh, many different things. Most popular is just probably the black. Got 20, 30 pound resistance. And the red. The thinner the band, the more likely it is to break eventually. And with bands, uh, when using bands, recognize that they do wear out. Uh, but you can accomplish everything you do with free weights. You can pretty well accomplish with bands. Some advantages with the bands is that everything is not dependent upon gravity. You can look it up to your garage door or whatever and do just fine with it. Anyway, I'm David Turner and uh, with, uh, let's see where, oops, well, one. I'm David Turner. Where's my logo? Ah, the Pastor Fitness LLC. And you're going to be watching the video in just a moment. Thank you for listening. David, a 68-year-old personal fitness trainer who enjoys working with loop bands and other forms of bands, today he's doing mostly upper body work. This particular exercise is simply a rowing exercise. You can do the same thing using free weights, dumbbells. Notice how when you lift with a resistance band so that the resistance increases as you pull it up. Keep your back straight. Well, on this particular one, now he's moving the elbows out, trying to reach the rumbar, rumbar area a little bit more. Bring those scapula together in the back. Pull, pull. There you go. Good job, David. He's going to be doing the same thing with an attached one. This is using his garage. This is a coronavirus right now, so he's working from his garage. This is the track. And you can do this from a standing position. You don't have to bend over and do it. Same basic muscle group that you worked earlier. 
There you go, he's putting those elbows out now. Trying to hit those rumbar region. And now he's going to pull it up to his forehead, work a little bit higher into the shoulder area, a little bit more into the back of the deltoids. Really try to pull those scapula together when you do that one. Pull it to your eyes. Hey, nice job, David. By the way, I'm David. Here he's doing, since he does it, not, can't do pull-ups, it's kind of an adaptation of the pull-up. You could have the band mounted directly above your head. Or as he's doing right here, you just lean him back a little bit so you can pull it into that position there. Again, working a little bit more into the trapezius. <clears throat> Going to give you that nice V. Moving to arm exercises, anytime you do chin-ups or pull-ups, you're going to be working biceps. And that's all he's trying to show you on this particular exercise. Working those biceps. And then the next exercise is what everybody does when they get these new loop bands. They want to work their biceps. Take it here and just pull it straight up like that. Keep the back straight. Make sure you go full extension. Notice the resistance increases as you go up, whereas in the dumbbells you would actually lose resistance at the top because of physics. Moving over to the, the triceps, one of many exercises you can do. Remember on all of these particular exercises that we're doing, you do both sides. Make sure you are trying to uh, do 8 to 10 reps to maximum capacity to exhaustion and do about 3 to 4 sets. I have no clue what we're doing here. I think he's just testing the band. Oh, go. Go into shoulder exercises. Just simply an overhead press. In this particular case, he's just using one band. Notice behind the shoulder and just straight up. You can also take two bands of the same amount of resistance, one on each leg. You'll be doing both arms at the same time. If you do it one arm at a time, make sure that you do both sides equally. Again, three, four sets, eight to twelve reps of to exhaustion on each set with just about a minute or a minute and ten seconds in between. Here he's showing you that you can do a squat press. Just go down and up. David's going to learn on this one. It's a little bit more weight than he anticipated. Notice how he's using his base. He's going to try to pull it up. Oh, I can't get it up. I can't get it up. So he's going to lighten it. Nice thing about bands, you can make quick adjustments. Probably already worked the shoulders and just discovered he was just a little bit too tired for it at the time. Here we go. Up. Uh, notice up to the side. Just slightly bent arm. You're working those mid deltoids. That's what he's pointing to right there. Not too bad for a 68-year-old bald-headed guy. Bald doesn't mean anything. He just said that because that's actually his me. And there he's going to come over here. Going to be very similar to an earlier exercise he did. This is just testing the band right here. He's been using bent arm. This doesn't mean anything. He's going to be and he's going to straighten the arms out and pull it back, not not pulling to the scapula together, but really trying to focus on those rear deltoids. That's that, sh you know, that shoulder muscles in the back upper upper area. Just pulling it together, tighten it. Again, eight to twelve repetitions. Work good. From here, David's moving into a front straight arm position. There, he's working the front deltoids or front of the shoulders and a little bit of the upper pecs. Keep the arm straight. It's okay to emphasize a little bit of the isometrics. Pull it up all the way up into the position. Hold it there for a little bit and then move, always focusing also on the eccentric, or what we call the negative motion, a little bit slower on the negative. Here we're going into shrugs. Just like you would do with dumbbells, you bring it up, 
in that position and just pull your shoulders up. These bands are fabulous for this. Yeah. Oh, hush, gizmo. There you go. Work those shrugs, David. Now a little bit of talking. Don't know what he's talking about, but that's all right. Moving over to the abdominal exercises. This is this is nice because you don't have to get down on the ground on this one. You just grab the band, pull your elbows to your thighs, trying to focus, blow out as you go down if you can, to really try to contract the uh, frontal abdominal muscles. There you go. I'm just holding it a little bit there. Work on some isometrics. He's raising up and see he's increasing resistance by going higher up on the band, or you could actually get a little bit stronger band at this point if you want. I'm going to remove the band and use one that he's already got mounted. There you go, go to the side. We're going to focus on the obliques, that side abdominal region. Also going to hit the glutes here. He's doing a little bit of an isometric, holding it for 10 seconds. Hold it very similar to a side plank. Hold it. He's going to feel that in the glutes. And now he's going to do about 10 repetitions to the side. We keep your arms straight, or pretty straight. You can have a little bend in them, but try to get those abs. The next one's for golfers. David has a, uh, a specialization in golf fitness through NASM. Just like you're hitting the ball, pulling toward the ball, a little wide stance. You're going to get hit the glutes and the obliques on this as well, upper obliques and into the shoulders as well. Thank you for watching this video. If uh, you would, mark follow at the bottom or subscribe would even be better. And uh, I plan to have other videos in the future and have other videos on here that you can watch as well. Um, Tabata exercises, bands, use TRX, uh, many different things. If you happen to live in the Riverview area of Florida, which is where I'm at near Apollo Beach, and need to be a personal trainer, uh, I may be available. But, uh, just check out my website, give me a call, or text me, and I'll be glad to get with you. Thanks.